This is the book of Psalms, chapter 24, verse 1. It says, The earth is Yahweh's, and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. For he hath founded it upon the seas and established it upon the floods. Who shall ascend into the hill of Yahweh, or who shall stand in his holy place? He that hath clean hands and a pure heart, who hath not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully, he shall receive the blessing from Yahweh and righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is the generation of them that seek him, that seek thy face, O Jacob. We are living in that time, man. Okay, we will be considered, all right, that remnant who is seeking Yahweh by Shem Shai. Why? Because we understand what's coming, man. Okay, we understand the destructive nature that Esau is about to unleash on the earth. All right, according to Revelations, the 12th chapter and the 12th verse. And what are we trying to walk with? We're trying to walk with clean hands so that we are blameless. All right. This is good in the eyes of Yahweh Bashem Yahshua so he can give us a righteous salvation as it says here. Psalms 24 and 7. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lift up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, even lift them up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts, he is the King of glory. So we have a, we're being sent a, a mighty Savior, man. Okay? We're being sent a mighty Savior. So when that flood comes in, which we know is coming, it's coming to, Esau is going to come down upon our people. So when these times come in, all right, we're going to have to depend on Yahweh Basham Shai. The Lord said he shall deliver us from the hour of temptation, roughly paraphrasing, man. Okay? And these troops that you're seeing coming to the cities. All right, and whatever plans Esau has, all right, to come against the men of the Lord, all right, especially carnally, all right, all that's going to be stopped by who? Yahweh Basham Shai, mighty in battle, it says there, man. Okay? Let me get this scripture real quick. This is Psalms 44 and 4. Thou art my king, O power, command deliverance for Jacob. Through thee will we push down our enemies. Through thy name will we tread them under that rise up against us. We have the God of the universe, man. Yahweh Bashem Shai fighting for us in these times, man. And that's what our focus and our trust and our faith should be in. Because we are, like it says in Psalms, the 24th chapter. All right. We are that generation of them that seek him, that seek his face. All right. And who will be doing that? The children of Israel. You don't see these other nations seeking the most high. All right. Two thirds of our people are not even seeking the most high, man. But the Lord left that remnant. All right. That's going to cry out. All right. For what? For help. You see, help from help from being overtaken by the wicked, man, since this is the end of their time. Psalms 44. Excuse me, Psalms 118 and 15. The voice of rejoicing and salvation is in the tabernacles of righteous. Is in the tabernacles of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord doeth valiantly. The right hand of Yahweh is exalted. The right hand of the Lord doeth valiantly. Who is that talking about? Yahweh Shah. He's the right hand of, of the Most High, man. Coming to do battle. All right. You can read about that in Revelations, the sixth chapter, and also Revelations, the 19th chapter. That's who they're seeing in these chariots. So we have a powerful Lord behind us, man. Us, us uh, 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 brothers in the truth, from the apostles and elders on down to all the brothers around the world teaching this truth. We have a mighty power behind us, man. They gave us the spirit to understand this time, understand this in these times. Okay? And he's going to fight all of our battles. <laughs> you see? Deuteronomy 20 and 4. For Yahweh your God is he that goeth with you to fight for you against your enemies to save you. You see? The Lord is, is, is going to be with us until the end of the world, as he, as he quoted in the New Testament, man. In the spirit, okay? So we have nothing to worry about. We have all, we, we're, we're, we're in the passenger seat because we're actually narrating 
We're actually narrating the movie of the How About Shemmy Al Shai, man. What did it say in the scriptures? It said that we are his mouthpiece. Let me get that real quick. All right, so we don't have nothing to worry about, man. Faith in Yahweh Hashem Shai is what's important. And yeah, you're gonna get down sometimes. Say he's gonna mess with you. All right, because that's your flesh, and we're still in this wicked flesh in this wicked world. But in the spirit, the Lord has found no guile amongst us, man. Lord willing, we're the elect and we're chosen, and continue to push this word. Okay, bear with me one second. Let me get this precept. This is Isaiah 59 and 21. As for me, this is my covenant with them, saith Yahweh, my spirit that is upon thee, and my words which I have put in thy mouth, shall not depart out of thy mouth, nor out of the mouth of thy seed, nor out of the mouth of thy seed, seed, saith Yahweh, from henceforth and forever. What does that mean, man? Okay? That we're coming back and we came back as our fathers down our family line, man. Reincarnation. All right. We are, if we are these men, we are that righteous seed, man. And the Lord promised our forefathers, all right, which is us coming back, all right, that He will give us the covenant again. And that's what we're receiving in the land of our captivity. And that's why we have to have faith that Yahweh Bashem Yah Shai is going to be with us through thick and thin. And it's going to get crazy out here, man. These niggas are already getting wild. All right. The economy is tanking. You see? Stores are closing down for good due to this pandemic and due to this, these, this damn looting that Jacob's doing out here, man. Which is the two-thirds. All right. And Esau is out there instigating looting. Starting riots. Destroying stuff. And our people are following right behind him into the trap. But the Lord has the remnant and is going to deliver the elect, man. Lord willing, with those men. All right. This is Second Kings. All right. We don't have to worry about any of the, these other countries. Militaries coming down on us as the prophets. Because the Lord said as soon as they come in as a flood, roughly paraphrasing, he's going to lift up a standard. You see? This is Second Kings 19 and 34. For I will defend this city to save it for my own sake. And for my servant David's sake. So in the past, our, our, the Yahweh Bashem Yahshai always came through all right, to save us against a huge number of our enemies, man. That obviously we couldn't take on. So he did it himself. <laughs> and that's what the Lord is about to do when he reappears and shows himself. That's why they're seeing the UFOs once again. Because the Lord is getting ready to do exactly what he did here in the ancient world. I'm going to read it. 2 Kings 19. And this is to do what? To defend and deliver the Israel, okay? You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that elect the remnant of them in an innumerable multitude. Second Kings 19 and 34. For I will defend this city to save it for mine own sake and for my servant David's sake. And it came to pass that night that the angel of Yahweh went out and smote in the camp of the Assyrians and hundred, four score and five thousand. Four score is eighty. One score is twenty. At 5,000. So the Lord sent. <laughs> the Lord sent. All right. For 185,000 Assyrians to be slaughtered. You don't think he's going to do the same thing? He's, he's going to do this in greater this time when the Lord comes down here, man. All right. We have nothing to fear. <laughs> but Yahweh about Shai. And 5,000. And when they arose early in the morning, we hold they were all dead corpse. You see, this is what the power in those chariots that you Esau is seeing around the world. All right. This is the power and this is the devastation and damage that they're coming to bring. Judgment, man. OK, judgment. So we have nothing to fear. But you how about Shai? OK. Let's get this real quick.
This is Psalms chapter 22, verse 23. Ye that fear Yahweh, praise him. Call all Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right. Barakat the Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All ye, the seed of Jacob, glorify him and fear him, all ye seed of Israel. So that's who we're supposed to fear. Nothing in this time, man. Whatever Esau is going to come down with. You know, and it's easier said and it's easier spoken than done. But that's where your faith comes in. Do you trust in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai? Do you trust that these scriptures are true? Do you trust that he is? You know? And that's what our battle is, man, in this flesh. Okay? All right, why? Because we want him to save us. Psalms 33 and 18. Behold, the eye of Yahweh is upon them that fear him, upon them that hope in mercy. And that's who the people he's going to give the mercy to, man. The people that actually fear him and keep his commandments, man. Two-thirds of our people are not keeping the commandments or any of the laws and the scriptures, man. While at the same time, they say they believe in God, you know. And the Lord's going to show everybody to, to be who they really are in these last days. The Lord's going to show that us men of Great Millstone from the apostles and elders on down to all the brothers around the world have been telling you people the truth, have been telling the world the truth, man. Why? Because the Lord said he has put his spirit upon us, man. And that we're speaking with his words. That's why everything we say is coming to fruition, man. And our fear is to keep is to is to hope the Lord continues to deal with us, that we continue in teaching this word, man. Showing him that we fear him. Those are the men, women, and children, and families that are going to receive that mercy, man. Okay? They're going to be protected. Psalms 34 and 7, the angel of Yahweh encampeth around about them that fear him. And what is he going to do for those that fear him? And delivereth them. And that's what we're hoping for, man. We're hoping for deliverance out of these times to come. Deliverance out of all types of situations. All right. Why? Because we are practicing the fear of the Lord, man. By teaching his word and teaching the world and continuing to push on into the end of this book, man. <laughs> As all these prophecies pop off, man. Okay? So, you know, that's really it. Us fearing the Lord and continuing on the path, man. And Lord willing, we, we, we gain mercy. All right? And rewards for doing so, man. All right? So, Lord willing, I was edifying. Call hello, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, Wahabra, Kakwadash. Double honors to the apostles, a great millstone for teaching and ruling well in the scriptures. Citations to you, across the world, pushing his word and truth and in sincerity and with charity. Shalom and a Bob ball.